Roku in the house. Let us share your business on Roku. Spotlight your business, ideas, and events on the Roku TV streaming service. Your message will be heard on our channel, The Brooklyn Cafe TV. Let your friends and family know so they can watch too and help spread your word. Contact us today at 866-224-5422 for more information. Roku for you on the Brooklyn Cafe TV. It's lunchtime and the Brooklyn Cafe is open for business. Live from Studio A in the heart of Delray Gallery, Dawn and Freddie S. And their team are ready to serve up a huge portion of fun for lunch with friends and neighbors. So let's break open that lunch pail and unwrap that sandwich you brought and take a front row seat in the Brooklyn Cafe and get ready to enjoy some humor and hot topics. It's time to get a healthy serving of hope and happiness to help your day go by with a smile. Your hosts, Dawn and Freddie S., are ready to talk about food, health, dating, or just plain dream making. If you have a story to share, a movie review, restaurant critique, or just a coincidental thing to happen to you, call in toll free at 888-565-1470 right now. Sit back and enjoy your lunch break at the Brooklyn Cafe. Here are your hosts, Dawn and Freddie S. Oh, and welcome, welcome, welcome to the Brooklyn Cafe and a beautiful rainy Monday. Rain. Beautiful rainy Monday. Monday. And I, I'm dating this show. Rain, rain, go away. <laughs> <laughs> You're dating the show. You're dating yourself. Bada boom. Bada boom. I just wanted to do that. Happy Monday. I always wanted to do that. I always what, wanted to sing a tuna. <laughs> It's an inside joke, and all of you will get it. We'll get to that in a second. Oh, jeez. Nothing better than kicking off our Monday with some friends in the house. And a lot of friends, a lot of people in the house, a lot of segments, a lot of things moving on. So I suggest you get a pen and a paper because you're going to want some numbers. We got Makeup Monday. Yeah. Makeup Monday. Make I it know. up. Make it up. We're not making up. We got Makeup Monday in the house. Happy Monday, oh, okay. everyone. We've got Sephora in the house. We've got Dane and Stephanie from Sephora and Boca Town Center. And of course, then I have to bring in my friends, my lady girls over here. I got Jen G and John DeBook and Linda Summers. Thank you for joining us. We've got Monday ladies going on. We got our new friend. We got Sabora, and we're going to find out more about Sabora. We got a lot. And, and, and we got Mia Monday because we are launching a new addition to our 2020 vision segment tomorrow with Mascara Mafia. And if you're wondering what that is, you're just going to have to tune in tomorrow. Because tomorrow we are live from where, Freddie? Where are we going? <laughs> you guys are do that. I know we're going somewhere. Oh, we're going to Flamingo House. <laughs> the Flamingo House. The Flamingo is House. Boca, which is an incredible co-working space. We're going to be there, and Mia's going to be launching Mascara Mafia on our 2020 vision with our crew. So a lot going on with that. We got a lot of things happening. A lot of moving parts. We're going to be learning how to contour our face, ladies. Everything except brows, lashes, and lips. That'll be a whole nother day, right, Dave? Mm -hmm. There's a whole lot to do besides brow, lashes, and lips. Got I got that, Freddie? I got, He's like, okay. I got nothing to say. I know. This okay. show is in your topic. But I got one thing to say. Yes. Today, we are going to give out a website. We want to do a newsletter. We want to open up the Snort Club. <laughs> in honor Yay. In honor of our friend. You want to mark a book? The book. The book. It took three weeks for me to understand that was her last name. <laughs> the book. But I want to do the Snort Club. And There's if you can't snort, you can't snort, cut. though. There are there a, yes. There's it's nothing, crazy. You want to talk into your microphone? Sorry. <laughs> I'm usually pretty good about that. I know. There's a lot of people who there snort. Do they? Is that like right. um? Is that like a revolutionary thing going on? Is that something yeah. that people normally do? I think do? Pe there were, we're starting to come out of the closet. Yes. <laughs> it's in our blood. Snorters unite. <laughs> this is... <laughs> There's a it's snort an closet. Thing. <laughs> now, I'm going to tell it you something. I, I, have, I have to lay this on you before we go down to our show. We did a piece last week on aliens. Okay. <laughs> Why point Thank, alien abductions? <laughs> Thank, Thank, fact, abductions. Sure. Thanks to Jen G, who brought it on the air and took it to another dimension. But let me tell you <laughs> what happens. <laughs> when you do these things, it affects other people. Mm. So on Friday night at 9 o'clock, when I had nothing else to do, I was forced to watch a show 
about aliens. Now check this out. I'm still stuck when you were forced to watch a show. Well, <laughs> it kind of kind of interesting. Okay. So, do you know what mad cow disease is? Yes. Yes. You do? Yes. yes. You guys know what that is? Yes. Yeah. Started in London. But well, you don't eat that meat. Because yeah. Don't eat cow meat from now, England. Do you, now you know that the bacteria to mad cow disease has never been seen on this planet before. And here it comes. They say that meteorite showers that hit the earth over and over and over and over <laughs> again every day, there's a shower, do, yeah. has bacteria in it. Mm -hmm. And the mad cow disease was, came from a meteorite that dropped this bacteria. It's brought so, to you by the Palladians. Well, check this. <laughs> no, we're back to that. Yeah, the Palisades people. But the funny thing is, I'm sitting there, right? I said, are you kidding me? And then I'm thinking back to the conversations that we had. Mm -hmm. Can you imagine that the unexplainable is coming from people sending bacteria down to the earth. If it surprises you, why? Because she's sitting here. <laughs> yeah. So the well, people are sending it. I think it's just the common. Every day we're bombarded with up. gamma rays from space. Every day. And every day. Every day. And that's what sometimes causes like computer blips yeah. or bit blips and changes. If you're hit right at the right time, the more mechanized we become, the more it affects mechanization. So self-driving cars mm. have been yeah. known yeah, to be like hit that. at the right time and have then veered off course because of the gamma rays that interfere with the onboard computer system. The gotcha. sunburst. That makes sense. Oh, so they have so the sunburst the that... So the conspiracy is that the governments know what's going on and they have exchanged mm -hmm. information for us to be able to do things like go to the moon and not melt have cell phones have cell there are, there's yeah. cer certain giveaways so there are people on this planet who know more than others well, this is what we found people. out right and, a higher and, level of thinking and i was hit with this thing mm. on friday it just came at me and i went to the movies on saturday and saw spider-man <laughs> it's a good movie for kids it's a whole higher level of thinking and do you know higher level of thinking well, before we even get into any of the levity we have we have to send our prayers mm -hmm. and just yeah. make acknowledgement of the horrific acts that happened this weekend. And we have a great show lined up for you and a lot of fun, but we would be really remiss if we didn't send our, our prayers and our thoughts to everyone in El Paso and extended families in Ohio. And what is going on in this world is incomprehensible. And in California. And in California. Three in one week. It's just beyond, yeah. but we have to just pay our tribute to that and... And keep going. It's really, it, it's sad. And, and now all of a sudden this morning I saw on the news it's about mental health, mental health. And mm. can I tell you mental health? I told you about that kid in, in North Carolina and they found him dead because they did the wrong things there. You know, get hip to the game because when you do stupid things, you're going to get stupid results. Mm. There's part, I think, my opinion, there's the mental health component, but there's also the assault weapons Yes, component. thank you. So I, exactly. think, I think there's a lot more to it, and we're Yeah, but I tell you how I feel. That. Give everybody an assault gun. You have less no. problems. No, oh, please. In the wild, wild west. <laughs> no. An assault gun. Everybody, yeah, that's, this is what no. they told me. I said, give everybody a gun. It's over. No. He, the bad guys have bad guns. In Miami, the cops complained for five years because they had pow pow, and, and the, and the gangsters guy. had automatic weapons we got to get the automatic weapons yeah. off the street they were before done. you're not going to get them off the street that's like getting killing the cook yeah, off the more. face of the don't, earth just don't put more on the streets it's, it's, not, it's so easy you're not going to get rid of it it's, it's wishful easy, thinking yeah. enforce not the laws not get rid of it but don't make it so easy to, you, they to get do. enforce the laws where are you going to put you're going to have one person outside Look. everybody in jail Mental you got to look at the, you know what the problem is? When your solution is overwhelming, people won't do it. Mm -hmm. and, and taking away guns is a constitutional right. Not take away. Not take away. You're going to try to stop so this easy. thing. Gonna, you try to kill cucarachas, ain't going to happen. It's just not going to well, happen. Something's got to happen. What's yeah. cucarachas? Is that roaches? roaches. Just, I hate something's them. Something's better than nothing. Something has to happen. <laughs> yes, something's but come up nothing. with a better solution. That's why I said if everybody has a weapon, you ain't going to mess with somebody who has a weapon. There's got to be a better solution. Yeah. Okay. But while we're working doing it your on a better way. solution and spreading love and hope, yes, I'm going back to Woodstock because you know what? I think it was a whole better place ah, to be. And were you guys there. in Woodstock? Anybody here in Woodstock? Yeah, you guys are too young, right? Woodstock. Woodstock? <laughs> no. Woodstock? Nobody. There's evil in this world. That's all I have to say. Yeah. Woodstock? There's evil in this world. Woodstock? Not Woodstock, Woodstock is evil? No, no, no. She's I said there is evil. Not yet. Woodstock. I'm saying there is evil in this world. Yes. Okay. There's more evil in this world. Right. It's been around since the turn of right. centuries. And but I, anyway. And I could say something very radical, but I believe that when you take God out of our country, out of our schools, 
There is no, anything goes. That's all I have to say. That's true that. Because my mentor on a winning streak and God is there. But anyway, listen, Woodstock, you were there? Were you uh, there? No. Woodstock? No. <laughs> no. You went to no. Woodstock. Dylan, were you there? When was Woodstock? 50 was years ago. 50 years 69 ago. 69 or something? Oh, yeah, because I'm 60, 50. 60. Yeah, that's yeah. 1969. Anybody here? I wasn't there. Woodstock? I was born. Let me tell you something about Woodstock. The funny thing is that people criticize Woodstock. They weren't even there. Go? That's not right. <laughs> Oh, I'm thinking, where did she go to get a cup that's here? The water bottle's here. I'm thinking, where I did Penny ice. possibly go? Ice. You know, we're doing, we're doing, we're doing, we're doing, so we're doing a show here. I know, Woodstock. <laughs> well, you let me know when you're done. But I also have to say happy anniversary to Dylan. Oh. Yes, I saw that. Dylan's one year anniversary wow. of the Brooklyn Cafe TV. Happy Congratulations. We need a cake. <laughs> Ramon has been with us for a year. My heart is killing me. <laughs> and we almost got a smile out of it, yeah, right? You did. There, yeah, there's, there's a, a smile. smile. That's a smile. <laughs> I, tell you. I just have one question on the screen up there. Are you on the computer monitor? Because I see the top and the bottom. Teddy, see all that? Yeah, Normally I don't see all that. Program for the all right, just checking. That's running the right way. <laughs> Anyway. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Sabora, hello to you. Welcome. Thank you. Thank we got to get Sabora a mic. I'm excited to be here. Let's give Sabora a mic. Tell us a little bit about you. Well, I'm excited about that alien conversation. <laughs> I'm excited about gamma rays. I actually did my thesis on mechanization in the workplace wow. and how people actually might choose you know, robotics or computers over human interaction. And I'm an artist. That was the main reason that I came. So thank you so much, beautiful spirit. You did spirit. your thesis for? Mechanization in the workplace. But what did you get your doctorate in? I, your I just have a master's. I have two masters. In what? In industrial technology education and in business. You got Innovation. two masters? What are you, bored? Business. I have two masters. <laughs> no, I'm two just, masters. Like, really, really excited about learning a lot of different things. Good I've, for been you. A, I've been a teacher you all my life, so I'm excited. You have two masters? Teacher, too. I Here's the nine. funny thing about Sabora. Sabora was walking through the gallery Friday morning, and I ran into her on the way back from the ladies' room. And I said, come on in. <laughs> True story? True story. I said, come on in. She says, okay, beautiful spirit. I'm going to come in. I said, and what's your name? And we chatted a little bit. We said, come back on Monday. Oh, how so sweet. this morning at 11.10, I get a text. Hi, this is Sabora, beautiful spirit. I'm running a little bit late. <laughs> Fabulous. I think Siri is telling me, hi, this is Sephora. I'm running a little bit late. Right. right. I go, no oh, problem. Geez. And in walks Sephora. And in walks Sephora. And there we have the Mascara Mafia. And welcome to my Monday mayhem. And that's all I can tell you. A Thank you story? for having us. True story. Thank you for having us. So I thought Siri got Sabora mixed up with Sephora, and then why Dane didn't funny? say it was Dane, but I thought, I thought right, that's what she said, too. Yeah. I thought yeah. you I thought said Sephora. Same. Me too. Right? I get it. And there you have it. And we've never had Sephora on, but I'm really glad you're here. We met Dane and Stephanie at the Wedding Expo. Yes. And this has been in the works for a little bit of time. So out of your comfort zone, Freddie. Why? I go to weddings. Make <laughs> <laughs> I do that, too. You that too. In this place, we do everything. And I have to say, persistence paid off, and Dane yeah. continued. And I never heard back from corporate. I'm just assuming they're happy that you're here. Well, yeah. I just got a text that said, "What are you doing?" No. <laughs> <laughs> we had a too late. Conversation this morning, so it's all good. And I'm loving that we're actually using our logs in the studio, which is pretty spectacular, yeah. right? It's and nice and what, okay, so <laughs> let, so set this up before we go on this side. Let's go on this side. What are we doing over there? What's what are we going to talk about today, Dane? Hi, everyone. So what we have planned today is, as you see, Stephanie is kind of, you know, all natural right now. And by the end of today, she's going to look neat. So you really have nice. nothing on, Stephanie? I have nothing on. Nothing oh, God, on. I wish I looked like that. <laughs> Hold on. Well, wait a minute. Wait. What do you mean you got nothing on? You're, you were born with red lips? Yes. Oh, well, I have lip gloss. Yes. Oh, yes. uh, lip line. Because I gotta tell you, you wake up looking like this? Yes, she did. Are you serious? Yes. She's gorgeous. She walks in and I said, and who's the model today? She said, me, and I'm thinking, really? You have nothing on. Wow, you are beautiful. I am, I am excited to see what the hell you look like with stuff on. <laughs> Unbelievable. That's where I come in. Is it? Mm -hmm. So for at Town Center, you have a lot of classes, and that's the one yes. thing I don't think people realize. We go in and we get makeup. You've got tremendous variety of makeup. But you also offer classes and skincare, facials. There's a lot more that we don't even yeah. know about. Just yesterday, we both spent at least an hour getting facials at work before work started. That's yeah. a tough job. Because we were getting yeah. ready for today. We're you like, in? You know what? Oh, yeah. Mm, self care, self care. <laughs> self care Sunday. Yes. Now, you two are like a walking billboard towards the business because I seen you work when we were at the uh, Steve O's thing. And they had all these people around them, and I mean, you handle a room fantastically, oh, which I was you. impressed. 
Um, so corporate is in New York City? No, San Francisco. Oh, in San Francisco. Is that, I saw all the emails. I just stayed out of the way. Yeah. yeah. Have, there's a lot of divisions. Sephora's a huge company. There's a lot of divisions, but for the majority of it, corporate is in San Fran. How That's lucky are we to have you here? Yeah. And how long have you been with them? I've been with the company four years and actually got to go to San Francisco to see the corporate offices and a couple other places in the, the country, so it's great. What about you, Seth? I've been with the company. I celebrated my six year anniversary in July last Six month. years? And what do you do with Sephora? So I'm Stephanie? a service manager, so I take care of all of the services <laughs> and talk. I take care of all the services that happen, so the makeovers that happen, the facials, the classes. Um, parties that we book, so I own all of all of that, mm -hmm. getting them all set and ready to go for um, makeup applications because they are all certified. We we train our our advisors and extensively. Yes, yeah, so I'm in charge of making sure they're trained and they're ready to go and they're comfortable in store. Very cool. And we're gonna do a face class today. Yes, we're gonna be doing two mini services. So what I have planned is we're gonna break it down. We're gonna basically do a full face, but instead of a entire full face for time, we're gonna do the main parts of a full face that everybody can kind of accomplish on their own. And then, you know, we can plan a later class to finish the rest of the face. So, <laughs> so do you teach people how to do a full should, face? Yeah. I teach people to do whatever you like. I can even install a car battery if you want. No, the quite reason I ask you is how long does it take to do a full face on the average for a woman? Depends. It all really just depends. A right. full face for everybody is different. So some people a full face could be tinted moisturizer and a little powder. And some people a full face could be this, a full glam fantasy. How long does it take you to get ready? Me, it takes me an hour and a half. <laughs> but you know so that's me. But, but look how beautiful, yeah. right? My God, it takes a whole lot of time to look yeah, like that's that. That's just for the face. I have friends that it takes them four hours just Jeez. to do face. So it, again, wow. everybody's different. You know what I mean? Like wow. you can't I just much on. put it all in one minutes. bucket. No. And then it isn't like doing minutes. over and over the same area, right? Yeah. Like I no. say to Dawn, and Dawn, you're doing that, you're doing that every again. You just finished it. No, I haven't. It has to be perfect. Well, it's, <laughs> well yeah, it's a lot it's of layers. blending. Mm -hmm. it's blending. Layers. I think really? the hardest part for me, well, there's a it lot is. of hard parts. One is finding the right foundation right. Mm -hmm. that on camera doesn't shine. And I had a wonderful foundation. They seem to have stopped making it. So that's my, my new quest now is what I've spent on foundation the past three weeks is ridiculous. Because you need the right color. You need one that doesn't glare. You need one that doesn't move. Then you got the powder. That's a whole thing. And then once that starts moving, then the contour moves. It's a whole thing. It's funny because over the weekend I put so on. Be you. I put on a show. You shower, put your hat on. You're like, I gotta go. She's, <laughs> and you know, she's, she keeps talking. She doesn't want me to bring this up. But I put on a show from 2016 when Dawn first started with us. It came up in my Facebook line. Oh, I saw it. Did you saw that? I saw it. Did you see yeah, the way Dawn cute. looked yeah, back yeah, then? Yeah, yeah. She was very quiet yes, and I saw reserved. It. And the whole look was different. <laughs> that's and, and that's why I'm bringing it up because, you know, when you go to job interviews, I guess for a female, most guys, uh, but for a female, you can actually change that whole platform mm -hmm. before you get in the room. And I saw that. I saw how you were and how you are. You can actually manipulate that, which is kind of cool if cheekbones. you know how to do it. Dane gave me cheekbones today. Yeah. See that? Mm -hmm. It's really cool. Mm -hmm. I like them. All right, so let's see what we're going to start with. So, first thing that I want to emphasize that we have to stress, you brought this up. It's not about doing everything in the same areas. It's about layers, 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 layers. You, if you do one color on the skin, you're going to see one color on the skin. But if you do multiple layers of different colors, different tones, obviously that may take a little longer. And if you're doing it in the car, don't you know listen to me. But <laughs> if you want to do sheer soft layers, it's going to build up a gradual intensity that makes it look a little bit more natural. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna start off by refreshing her skin a little bit, and I'm gonna use the Tasha um, Skin Dewy Mist because it's just a little bit more hydrating, a little bit more glowy, and we wanna bring the glow back. So I'm just gonna come to Bringing the glow back. All right, while mm -hmm. he's misting, let's take a qu quick commercial break, Dylan. They're gonna prep Stephanie mm -hmm. and start layering. Stay tuned. Yes, we are. We'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> If a tree falls in the woods and no one is around to hear it, does it make a sound? Have you ever felt that your voice goes unheard? And you think that you can make a difference if only someone would just listen. It's time for women in business to have a place to step into your power, a platform to embrace your hopes, dreams, and your visions, 
a voice to heal and restore. Your voice can make a difference. We have the platform to share your story and let your voice be heard. Be kind to yourself. Give yourself the chance to be heard and shine bright. Contact New Dawn Media by texting CAFE to 80800. That's C-A-F-E to 80800. Cruise Planners, an American Express travel representative, has a tremendous reputation for quality, service, and very competitive pricing for all of your travel needs. As a Cruise Planners travel advisor, Paul Vadiano will help you discover exciting adventures around the world, from cruises to land tours and completely packaged vacations. Paul specializes in all types of travel and will create an unforgettable vacation, wedding, or event just for you. Find Paul at www.cruiseoptics.com, on Facebook, or by phone at 561-232-2626. We make your travel dreams come true. Hi, my name is Leslie Carmen, and I'm the founder from Carmen Care Laser here in Boca Raton. We've done so many treatments. We've treated people with severe back pain, knee pain. Pure pain uh, is, has been there for so, so many years. Often we just have a tendency to just believe that we're not going to get better. I had a bad injury with my knee, my left knee. And it is amazing after just three treatments. And even after the first treatment, I could tell a huge difference. We'd love to invite you to come see us and, and be a part of that. Thank you. Welcome back. And welcome back to Makeover Monday. Did you hear the news? Which one? Tomorrow. We're going to be on remote, right? Yes. 2020 Vision is going to introduce a new concept. And that would be? Maybe, no. Mascara Mafia. <laughs> <laughs> I tried. I knew it was with an M. I tried. Mascara Mafia. Yes, Mia's going to be helping her host. Helping who, by the by? Helping host Mascara <laughs> Mafia. It's like, ha, ha, mm, mm. Tomorrow is going to be interesting. So we're going to invite all millennials and them under. They want to come on this set, come on down, check this out. We're going to see if it blows up the set. I have a feeling it's going to do real well. It's going to be fantastic. So mm -hmm. I know you want to know what it is. You've got to tune in tomorrow, 2020 Vision at 12 o'clock. <coughs> All right, Dane, what have we got so far from Sephora? So what we just did is I did a little bit of the Makeup Forever HD because she is camera ready, but mm -hmm. also skin-like. And if you look at her skin, she's even more flawless right now, like very minimal texture, very minimal color which is great. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna start the highlight process. And what did you apply the foundation with? What kind of brush? I did the actual, or Sephora Collection number 47 flat brush. It's perfect, because it grips the skin. She knows the numbers. But it also <laughs> spreads the product around and makes it look super, super natural, super mm -hmm. airbrush, which is, airbrushing is the way to go, really. But no one wants the messy airbrush machine, so the brushes. And why would you use the off. flat brush over like the, you know, the Puffy flat brush. head? Right. That's a good question. Some foundations actually require specific brush techniques and different brushes to use to manipulate it because the actual foundation works differently when stretched. So I have here a dome flat brush as well as I have my right, flat have brush. One of those. But for the HD, you don't want to use a dome flat brush because the buffing action will actually distort the pigment and make it look a lot sharer and like you're not wearing anything, which okay. you end up using more product. And you come back to see me, you know. You thought it was easy that? putting on makeup. No, I knew. <laughs> you have to stipple versus. Now, let me ask you, her, she's huh. flawless. Yes, she is, is it because she's been using this product for six years? No. <laughs> she, was she was born, born that, that way? way? Six years. Why? I mean, she was flawless. blessed to be born that way. Now, skincare, <laughs> which we aren't really talking about today, but skincare does a world of a difference for makeup. Like Absolutely. The base of your foundation needs to be on. If your skincare is lacking, then your, your makeup's going to be lacking. Mm -hmm. One thing that I once got advice on is if you're spending 10 minutes doing your makeup, you need to be spending two minutes doing skincare. If you spend an hour doing makeup, you need to be spending 10 minutes on skincare because the, the ratio has to match. It's a good point. Because otherwise, I have skincare. Yeah. skincare routine at night. Same. Like, you have a 20 minute skincare routine at night? Day. Join the club. Do you do the thing with the ice, like the movie? Not the ice, no. No, no metal hangers? All right, so what's your skincare routine look like? So to take, you know, you gotta take all of the Yeah, take it all right? off. Yeah. So an oil you don't do that, do you? Really break it no, up. And then I go in with a, with a cleanser and I have my Ferreo, so it's like, it's a device. A lot of people are familiar with Clarisonic, but that helps to break everything 
up, it, my plastic is amazing. And I've used that for three years, and my skin is like, the texture is just, there's no texture. And then Honestly. masking, of course, is and, yeah. super big, Ten about 10 minutes in, in masking. I like to mask in the shower specifically. Yeah. Like, I like to put a mask masking on in the shower. Is in the, shower. Good. the hell is she talking masking. about? Masking in the shower. You put a mask on. Yeah. Do you put that a mask on in the shower? Yes. It's a cream that you put on. It's a mask. It just makes the mask work more efficiently. It's, it's amazing. Yeah, there you go. Know. There's another tip. Oils, moisturizers, and then we get facials about once a month. Yeah. Facials Jeez. are important. Yeah. It's difficult. Uh, facial, 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 facial. And Jane, you had a question. So, Dane, as you go into the, the highlighting, right, that was your question. Oh, yeah. I'm dying to see the highlighting that you do because what you've done to your makeup, spot Thank on. You. Yeah. <laughs> fantastic. <laughs> So, speaking of highlight, now a big misconception is you have to use like 12 different products to um, get the complexion done. I'm not going to do that. We're going to go ahead and use a trusty concealer, the NARS Creamy Radiant. We're going to highlight the face because it's a medium to full coverage so you can share it out, but you can also build it up and make it look a little bit more interesting. So, so let me, you highlight before you contour? Yes. Okay, good to know. You typically want to highlight before you contour specifically for the purpose of if you have light, you know where the shadow goes. Mm -hmm. If you don't have light, where does the shadow go? So if you contour before you highlight, you're not really placing everything where you ought to be because you don't know where everything's going to be going. So placing the highlight first, starting under the eyes, and you're just going to create that small triangle of light. If you notice, look straight ahead. I'm not, keep, I'm not applying too much product because I'm going to blend it out, and you don't want to have the product dragging all across the face. So we're going to start in the inner corner. And that was my, my question. How does it not smudge? And then how does your eyes not run all over this highlight? Well, once you set it and you powder it, everything stays put. It's the setting. The setting motion is definitely imperative. Got that, But pretty? if you look at this, mm -hmm. I'm already blending with my <laughs> concealer brush. And this concealer smoothed out so beautifully. And she has a little bit of a, a brightness under her eye that she didn't have before. I so noticed oh. you're not using a beauty blender. Do you use those or you, you work with brushes? I do whatever is in my disposal at that moment. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Which is a good I, thing. <laughs> I quite like beauty blenders. Beauty blenders are beautiful. They really soften the product and they make it look very airbrushed, very smooth. Mine just aren't clean. So we're going to use those. Fair. And I have like How do you clean your brushes? You can use... a brush cleanser that's um, immediate, like it has a lot of, uh, what is it, cleaning agents that once you yeah. spray it on the brush, you wipe it out and it dries immediately. Yeah. Or you can do a deep cleanse that you actually wash your brush and let them dry. I like a deep cleanse for like a once a month, every two weeks type cleanse, because yeah. it conditions the brush and makes them softer mm -hmm. and extends the life. But the quick cleanse is good in between if you just want to move on to the next thing and get it done, it's perfect. Mm -hmm. How do you get the bacteria out of brushes, right? Yeah. That's, That's how you want it. Yep. The cleanser, and when it dries, it doesn't have the bacteria in it. Wash exactly. Otherwise, you're catching on. You're going to make a part of that today. Well, well I've, been through, <laughs> I've been through a lot of these. When you start breaking out and the pimples start coming, you know it's time to wash brushes. Yeah, but the, <laughs> I mean, also there's rashes and there's all sorts of stuff there. Well, there's only rashes if you're allergic or if you're giving other people your brushes. And do you have a favorite line? Because you've used the HD on the foundation, now using the NARS on the highlight. I favorite is a commodity I don't get to have in my line of work because mm -hmm. things come out so quickly and things go away as you already know with yeah. foundations. You don't get attached to things. You just, you know, you enjoy the product and then you just move on to the next one because they are always updating, they are always changing, right. they are always modifying. Sales. If it works, it works. I guess the bottom line is we just have to come yeah. see you and get <laughs> the right foundation there you for go. what we need to do. And but are you on the floor if people want to come in and yes. make an appointment? I am on the floor a lot, but sometimes I am in the back office. So if you don't come, if you don't see me, come in, just ask for me and I'll come out. But I do predominantly, I'm on the floor. I teach the classes. I also teach, I host the parties. I do the facials in the back. I do makeovers. I contact PR. I do a little bit of everything. A little bit of everything. And you're on the road. So I want to point out what we're doing right now. I applied the same concealer in the center of the face. So I applied it in between the brow, See, the center that. of the nose, the top of the lip, and the top of the chin. I call that the tree of life because that's a technique of the tree of light. Because if you look at it, this is the branches, that's the trunk, and these are the roots. Right? Wait you're to see me tomorrow. Why well, are you going to have a tree of life on your yeah, face? A tree of light. A tree, tree of light. Light. A tree of light. When you're blending the nose, if you notice I'm keeping my brush very vertical, I'm not going to the side because you don't want to emphasize width, you want to emphasize the depth of the brow, the brow on the nose. So I'm just going to go ahead and we're just blending it out. How easy he makes it. 
I know, he does make it look very easy. Are Dustin you bored? Super easy. <laughs> I'm amazed. I am too. I was just like, oh my Your god, I never do that. like an art canvas. That's really how I think about it. Then it's a palette. You have the one, so let's dress it right. Mm-hmm. Let me ask, and maybe my questions are stupid, just tell me to shut up, but sometimes I notice that during the day, women put on very heavy, or, or what they call that, smoky eyes, but it's like different colors and stuff, and during the day, is that what you should do? Because it really stands out bold. I would never say should, because there is no should. Okay. I am currently wearing a smoky eye that's very bold, and it's glutified. The only difference okay. is the colors that I've used in my smoky eye are a little softer. So smoky is a technique, oh. it's not necessarily the look. You can like modify that. your smoky eye as much as you want, you can make it soft, you can make it more you know, impactful, you could do as heavy as you want or as light as you want, that's your personal choice. Um, what I say is that you should enjoy it when you see it because that means that she had a lot of courage that morning and she to wanted do it. to show it off. You should glitter your eyes. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, I knew that was coming. <laughs> <laughs> so Actually, here's the problem with the glitter. There's two issues. It gets all over the place. No, that's oh. not the issue. One is... <laughs> <laughs> Nothing wrong with glitter <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> I can go home. I feel like I've been hanging out at, uh, you know, you know where. You know where. <laughs> swollen so you have to find one that you can tolerate and the second is it reflects light and I've had makeup artists tell me not to put glitter on my eyes because of the lights what makeup art? I don't well, understand well Could I you agree tr- with that because one time I had put glitter and it ended up right here on my lip and when I smiled <laughs> I looked like I had a diamond on my tooth <laughs> there's nothing wrong with that I, I, that. I, I was like so it was in London you're a diamond so what's the problem you should, you should do it <laughs> like, right. anyway <laughs> I should do it anyway. Yeah. Just the camera. Did you see when they said right there, you put it on because you feel bold enough to do it, and then you can tone it down. And this is the walking billboard over there. Wait you see tomorrow is all I can tell right, you. Right, we'll do it. <laughs> just don't find something that gets you all allergic, and then your eyes look like Muhammad Ali in the 12th. I mean, you don't want that, but. <laughs> That's the other thing. I told The thing about glitter that I love is like glitter is an extension of your shadow. So you said that a makeup artist previous told you that not to use it because it reflects. Well, if your goal is to reflect, you can use multiple textures of glitter to get the same effect. So you can use a chunkier glitter, you can use a very soft glitter. You don't have to use something so statement, that way when you get on the camera, it hits the light. Because glitter does react differently on still than it does on, on video, so you have to play with it. But there's different grades of glitter that get the same effect done. And I'm going to be using a little bit of glitter on her today, so you can... You, Different grades of glitter. I like oh, that. Oh, yeah. There's wow. Different, different. They're super fine grades. Jen, we could have chunky. so much fun. I actually have three different grades on my eyes right now. The guy so likes sparkles, so I'm in. When the light hits it, they all reflect differently, and they all have a different, you know, re- impact. How so, often do you offer classes? Classes right now, we offer them per request. So if you, when your friends want to get together and have a class, you just let me know, and we can plan it for you in store. We just had a bridal um, yeah, we had a bridal party. They came in Ladies for the actual in? wedding. Yeah. And they had got all ready. They got dolled up. And it was a fun experience. So if you want it, just let me know. We can plan it. You and know? how much do they typically cost? Differs. If you want it during store hours, it's a minimum $75 purchase per person. If you want to do it outside of store hours, it's a minimum $50 purchase per person. So it all really just depends on how you want the... It's not bad. Nothing. You can't spend on a mascara. Yeah. Lipstick um, is a hundred bucks. And how many people can you do at once? One time? Up to twelve. Oh. Oh, we've got four, five, <laughs> six. Me and seven. Jackie eight. Sabora at nine. Sephora. We're only one at Sephora. We had the class. You in? The girls and was like, what? We had. Dave, I'm giving you and Freddie can kind of hang on the outside. <laughs> we'll figure something out. We had we had a class recently for the transgender community, and we had up to we had twenty four people, I think. Wow. Yeah, twenty four people show up, and it was wow. great. It was beautiful. It was a full class. That's beautiful. incredible. And how long is it? That Different. class was um, before four hours. It was about it was ninety minutes. It was a ninety minute class, and then you get yeah. thirty minutes to shop. Before store, the store before we open, so it was, it was two hours. Oh, that's even yeah. cool. You get to yeah. shop before it opens. You get to get in the store before the Don't you wish you were a woman? Said, no. <laughs> so, I do not. I that's want to point something out. I've already gone ahead and started contouring one side of her face. So you can see the difference of how her cheek now stands out. Turn to the other side step. Oh, yeah. And how Look many colors that? you yeah. do that with? This is just one. 
So we just use one tone in a cream contour just to bring the dimension out into the face just so that she has a little bit more structure in the cheek. So it goes and right here under your cheekbone? Exactly. Now I find that a lot of people actually contour a little too low and they go, they do the fish face and they start applying it right here. Oh, no, but the problem with doing that, that is that that's your cheek, not your cheekbone. So if you put the product right there, it's actually doing nothing for your face. So you want to hit it right under the bone. If you can see the plump line, that's where the bottom part of your contour needs to live. You want it to be right there. And if you want to brighten it up, you can always go ahead and put a little foundation so and clean it up a little. But you want it to be right under that cup. And then you put a highlighter underneath it? You don't have to, but you can. So if I find that if there's a lot of facial structures that your cheeks are not high enough for you, or you want your cheekbones to stand out a little more, you can always put a little concealer underneath it just to brighten the area so that it has a bigger shelf life, so it pops a little more. Make it sound so simple. Like, so simple. You know, Danielle does makeup flawlessly, and she worked for Sephora for many years. Did she? Yep. Like a time. I mean, she did my makeup yeah. for my, my headshot, and I'm like, can you just, like, come over and do my makeup every morning? No, she's good. I say some of her stuff. The, she's good. Pretty good. As the contour, and see, I would never think, because it's so dark, but yet it blends right in beautifully. Well, everyone is different, so we have to find a tone that's good for you. But for her, wow. she does have a little bit more of a chocolate tone. Yeah, she does. So we want to make sure that her skin. contour is two shades darker than her tone. Otherwise, it does absolutely nothing. So it's just a matter of finding the right tone. Now, for her, she has a moderately sized forehead. I don't have to put anything on the forehead as for contour. The way I like to see it, contour is like your personal assistant, and bronzer is your bodyguard. Your personal assistant doesn't go everywhere with you, but your bodyguard does. Contour does not go everywhere. Actually, it just goes you come to with certain me. places. Your bronzer. I like the analogies. It's it great. I, I like what she said. I like what she said about the forehead. So if you have a if you have a lady that has a forehead where you can land a plane, is different than somebody. <laughs> I just say. I don't mean that. I don't mean that like that. I mean some women have really big foreheads. Forehead. I didn't want to say nothing. <laughs> you can land a plane on. No. Yeah. It's, a, it's a change. <laughs> She's like, what? I, what? That's, that's, You're sensitive. you You're have ready. a forehead. You can land a plane on. I Happy land, birthday. I can land a spaceship. <laughs> yeah, I'm, no. right I'm just saying there's a change what she's doing. Oops. And look at that. God's calling. See? What, what oh the my. heck is that? That's God. <laughs> is that you? Yeah. Well, go get it. That's okay. Freddie, that goes right with your greeting card line. Yeah. And if she has a forehead to Happy birthday. Point on. Yeah. <laughs> Happy birthday. I'm, I'm writing. I'm going to start writing these cards up because oh my God, it's, it's amazing so far what we have. Do you know, everybody will remember the segment because I used that stupid line. But it's the truth. Some people, I, I, what would you do if you had, if she had, well, she does it. She's perfect. You got to get a model with well, like, big with ears thoughts. or something. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. When she wakes up. I do recommend for someone who has a really large forehead, hats and bangs. They work. Oh, there you go. Hats and bangs. Yeah, I don't do hats. I do a bang. Bangs are a trick. Let's say you save the forehead. You save on foundation. You don't have to do all of that. It's perfect. Wow. And if somebody, like a woman, has very big eyes, you highlight there, that? There's techniques to minimize the size of the eye, but there's also techniques to make them look closer together or further apart. So depends on who's doing your makeup. We can make a lot of magic happen. Wow, look at that. I class. Yeah, me too. Yeah. I think we're in. I think we have to sign Done. up for class. I don't understand yeah. you two. You guys are funny. <laughs> anyway, no. what do I know? No, we're doing I a class. This is truly the difference between contour and bronzer. So we've already contoured her face, and she looks stunning, but we're not done. So remember when I said about the bronzer goes everywhere where contour doesn't? We're going to bronze her cheeks in the exact same area that we applied the contour. And, it's gonna warm it up. I know, right? and what's that going to do? This is going to add a little bit of extra warmth to her skin tone. Because mm. a lot of the times the foundation can minimize your natural warmth, can diminish your highlights, it can diminish your shadows. So you want to put that back in artificially, but in, in a more controlled It's softening her face. Yes. Do you know you look oriental? Can I say that? Asian. A Asian? You look Asian Hawaiian? on this side. Whatever. What can I say? Hawaiian, Asian, Chinese, what can I say? Stephanie, where are you from? I'm Puerto Rican. Puerto Rican, she's you. <laughs> she's <laughs> Hello. She's, she's mi gente. No, but you look, when she does it, when you turn to the side, you have like an oriental look. Freddie, she's... Look. 
She's Latina. Take the compliment. Yeah, yeah it's kind of cool. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. You could, yeah, absolutely. But your skin, the glow on your skin is just spectacular. Look at the difference of just a little bit of bronzer. Yeah, the lighting needs to be better over there, though. Yeah, I can. Don't look really at the TV. Her. Look at her. The ah, TV. It's kind of hard for me. Yeah, but yeah, I, okay. can't, I don't have. I don't. Have, <laughs> I don't I mean, you're gorgeous. You now. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't get yeah, to. I didn't get to put the cameras, uh, the uh, TVs in in place. Yes, mm -hmm. but look Beautiful. at this. Look at that. Now we can wow. see. Wow. Right Beautiful skin. Truly and that's the bronzer. That's Holy powerful. smokes! Are you like in the movies or something? Jen, do you go through all these steps? Me? Yeah. No. Yes. You should be. Don or Linda, do you go through all these steps? Yeah, I don't. Linda? Nope. <laughs> I attempt. I, would, yeah, I mean, I, I do, but attempt, I, I attempt. It when you I be, give it a whirl. Wouldn't you be, like, afraid yeah. to get up in the morning and put anything on? I mean, she's perfect. Oh, well, she will look perfect before the makeup That's what on. I'm saying. Right. So why would you mess with the Mona Lisa? <laughs> because perfection can always... Get better? Amplify. Okay. Look, you, want, you always want to enhance what God gave you. Right? Let me think about it. And make that. no, it's true. I mean, God gave. I think every woman is beautiful. Marshmallow. Well, <laughs> Marshmallow. And there are different, different, or we wouldn't wear beautiful dresses. Right. You know, like, you know, we like the makeup. We want to look better. You know, that's what why we go to Sephora to buy the amazing makeup. But the key is getting learn. someone that helps you because you right. can go to Sephora and be like a deer in the headlights and yeah. have no idea. And be intimidated. Right? Yeah. What line you want, what color you need, and the person says, oh, try it on your hand. My hand is not the same color as right. my face. I've of tried it. Not. I can tell you. Is that why close. I see women that have like 15 colors on sure. their hands? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. They, they look that like zebras. It looks Some beautiful. It's so pretty. You just want <laughs> to. Or the lipstick. The best place to match if you have makeup on you come into the store is your chest. I'm all in on that. It must be chewy. It's I'm chewy story. I'm sorry. It's <laughs> <laughs> story. So, you I, heard what she said? I finally had her complexion and I started adding a little blush. Now, blush is a little different from bronzer because where bronzer adds warmth, blush adds color. So you just want to bring the color back to the face. So I'm, I chose a nice coral blush because I beautiful. love corals for the summer. It's stunning. Now, is blush always in the pink family? No, this isn't. Pink. Depends on your That's complexion. Coral. Well, I can't see. It's That's coral, like an orange. Okay, mm -hmm. like an orange. You yeah. can't see. I mean, in those <laughs> color things. <laughs> exactly. Sorry. Which is, which tends to be in like a burgundy, pink, you know, red. red so it's like it's like when you when a woman gets embarrassed and they blush. Is that where that whole thing comes from? Yes. Okay. That is exactly where it comes from. When you try stuff on your chest, you're gonna blush a lot. That's all I'm saying. So what are you doing now with the under the eye thing? I was just wiping away a little of the excess product. Oh, it's okay. To decrease a little, so I just wanted to smooth it out so the overall finish was stunning. Okay. And what do you use to set under her eye? Because that to me is like the biggest thing. So when you blink, somehow your mascara always runs. The eyeliner moves. Goes well, you creases. can use translucent powders. A lot of translucent powders are made for under the eyes, and then we have translucent powders that are specific to under the eyes. But because of Stephanie's look that we want to go for, we want to go for a more glowy look, I'm not going to powder her face because we want to keep... Even under her eye, you did, it's, it's going to stay? It's going to stay yeah. just like that all day long. How long is it going to stay? Really? Yep. All day long? You don't put like spray paint on them? Nope. No. No. A little wow. sackle, but no spray paint. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty cool. All day long. Teddy and Lisa, you guys learning anything? Yeah. I <laughs> Teddy looks like she's... she's Mia? A, she's a... Or you're good with all this. <laughs> I'm nervous to see what the end of that one. I'm saying you're like hypnotized. It's pretty remarkable and simple. How do you do, I need to know what to do with my forehead, though. <laughs> no, you don't have a big forehead. Your ears, though, on the other side. No, I'm only <laughs> kidding. I'm only kidding. Only kidding. Only kidding. Kidding, kidding, kidding. This is your last week, I think, Fred. Is it? Is it your last week or we got to rip on you every day? No, I think it's, there's one more week. Okay, there's one good, more. Take it easy. Away. That was two. <laughs> Bada boom, marshmallow. All right. <laughs> there you go. And what's the stain that I you're doing? I the meme. You like the meme, right? I love the meme. Payback, payback. Now I got a, I got a question, yeah. but don't don't guys don't laugh, okay? okay? Sometimes women they have like a six o'clock shadow on their face. No, don't be mean. Don't be mean. Some women have it. Come on. The hairy. Day. They have hair on their face. I don't know what it is. It's like a shadow or something, or around the their face. Hair, it's hormones. And what happens is women really, really break down. They get embarrassed and they overdo it with the makeup because they want to like hide this stuff. They need to shave it. They don't know how to. Bl is that yes. what it is? Yeah, they need but to get it off their face. But doesn't it get? But doesn't it get worse? No. no. Yes. Yes. No. no. That's it's because of how you cut the hairs. 
Hold on. Some people say yes. Some people say no. Let's give it to the experts. Okay. What would you do? Because everybody has hair on their face. Yep. Yeah. Some people have just a little heavier. <laughs> <laughs> That's because they're using this. And it also helps exfoliate. Oh, right. Exfoliate. Yeah. You sell like, the blade or you do the. Do we, you do we it? We sell the device. Our location is sell it online. Um, but so. I use that as, as well. And it's, it's, an, it's amazing. It's another device that helps to really exfoliate. So, I use it as well to get rid of any facial hair and any folliculitis from shaving or anything like that, just to exfoliate the skin. It's truly great. So if, if they're using a big razor, skin. they're hurting mm -hmm. themselves, right? Yeah. They're using the wrong tool. That's too aggressive. Yeah, it's like it's very thin and your skin is irritated. She does all that. It's a good, it's really good. You see, I have a sister. And I used to tell my sister, Mimi, why are you using so my razor? It was going to come out of your mouth. Yeah. <laughs> so, so in the day, they didn't have all of this stuff. I'm just being honest. And listen, we're going to sit in. We got to be honest as guys, right? Because we have to sort of hug and kiss this stuff. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, and no, that's why we take care of ourselves. Why you're divorced. Well, we no, I remember you, you brought in, she brought in a product line that had no lead in the lips. I didn't know we were sucking down face with lead in the lips. I don't want that on my body either. I mean, remember we talked about that. Is it wrong to say? No, I can yeah. take that to so many levels. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we won't, but you can get the dermaplane and it's available online or you can just go to Sephora. <laughs> That's right. They'll order it for you. And you can use that on your face and every other yes. part of your body. No, you, no, just, no just, just your face. face. <laughs> or just the face? Yeah. Just the face. Well, I Not tell you. Other, part of your body. other parts of your body, what do you do? Other types of razors. Again. What do you do? Let's just Again. move on. <laughs> right. <laughs> You know, there was a time I dated women and they had a little issue. What are you going to do? We have a girlfriend, so it's not like Not now. I'm talking about so. our youth, millennials. And I mean, when you grow up, there's stuff coming out of everywhere, right? Yeah, there are things that shouldn't be any place. Yeah. Yeah, it's called things gravity. So you have a daughter. So what do you tell your daughter? Put your head in the sand? No, you tell her there's a way to do things, no? You try not to. You want them to express themselves the way they want to. That's but, a good topic to talk about tomorrow, by the way. But if right? you're hurt, but if you're hurting yourself using, I seen women shave with razor, and I said, don't do that. No, that's not good. You're gonna have more hair on your face than I am. I don't think that's true, though. No, it's not. It's. I, th it I don't is, think that. Really you think it's true? You think it grows back a different way? Yeah. Really? Well, I, I have like the problem. Does it so grow back? Yeah. You have a. You have a. You shave with a bic? No, no, no. I have this thing that like. Ouch. Because I, I tried the shaving and I got bored. So. I tried the once on my she legs in bored. college. Ooh. Hair <laughs> hurts. Unless it's a hormonal issue, usually the hair won't come back thicker or more. If it's hormonal, then that's a specific case. But the reason they say that is because when you shave with a blunt razor, you're just shaving off the tip of it. So when it comes back, you're getting the entire shaft yeah. of the right. hair. So it looks thicker. Whereas when you wax, it has to grow a whole new follicle. So it comes what? back tapered. So it looks thinner. That wax thing hurts. Now it they does have, hurt. They have lasers, <laughs> right? They have lasers to remove hair. I had a friend of mine who did it, and it got worse. I don't know why, you but it got worse. Laser's amazing. Yeah. It, but it got worse on her. Of. And then also depends. Doesn't it depend on your, your type of skin type, how these things are going to work? Wax. Oh, my God. Waxing takes off the top layer of skin, too, while it's taking in the hair. So to be very, very yeah. careful. Yes, yeah, so it's not too hot. It's a I had a waxing done. It's not easy being I had a waxing done once. You wax your back? Did you? Yes. I was like in the movie, The, the Virgin. Oh. Del Clarkson. <laughs> yeah. It's, yeah, it's painful. Right. Never again. It is the it's worst. Painful. Painful. Remember it's like just under the eye. What's actually going on in Freddie's mind? I think maybe today gave me a clear version of I don't think I want to do that segment anymore. Why? <laughs> Why? It's it's natural, right? Everybody has things they got got to fix. And I'm gonna tell you something: the older you get, the harder it is <laughs> yeah. to fix it. Hello. So fix it early. <laughs> Go over there, so jump that? on there, Where get it done early. From? Because <laughs> the older you get, it's harder to reach them places with your arthritis. Oh, it's harder to reach and things grow that shouldn't be growing. All yeah, you it's not on set. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> yes. Hallmark moment. Marshmallow. All right, Marshmallow. moving on to eyes now. We have, what, about two minutes? Oh, yeah, my time? 
Your turn. Oh man, we could have so, done this whole thing. I know. I've already started the process for the eye. What I was gonna do was have the crease done so that way when you guys see it, I can show you how it can constructed it on the other side. So if you look, I started the smoky eye, the same eye that we were talking about earlier with the different intensities, and I pretty much use four or five different shadows in the crease alone. So wow. the gradual um, density of the browns and the, the smoke colors are a little different because it's not just one stock color. Wow. So to mimic it, what I just did is I'm using two different palettes. I'm using the soft ground from Anastasia. This is a staple, it's beautiful. Mm -hmm. And I'm also using the Mothership 5 from Pat McGrath. This is- Mothership. This is, is that what you said? <laughs> <laughs> Go right back to me. Very cool. <laughs> You're never gonna forget that brand. Right back to Jen. <laughs> Mothership, how can people find you at Sephora? <laughs> What's the best way to reach out to you all? Uh, you can call us. Um, you can call us. You can Instagram us, or we're at Sephora underscore Boca Raton. Mm -hmm. You can come into the actual store. I think Instagram is the best way. You, they buy the mall. They're in the mall. In the mall. Mm -hmm. In the mall itself. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Okay, so check them out at the mall. Check them out. All right, more to what come. What mall would that be? It's Boca Town Center. There you go. Boca Town Center Mall. You gotta mall. be specific. You're Boca right Town here. Center. Contact Dave or Stephanie or anyone else at the Boca Town Center Sephora. You can find them on Instagram. You can stop on in, sign up for a class. I think we need to figure that out, ladies. I'm telling you, it's amazing. This woman's ready for a shoot. What's uh, Danielle Bouillon? Take pictures. I know. I know, this right? is unbelievable. Incredible. Stay tuned. We've got Gorgeous. more health and wellness coming up for a one o'clock hour. We've got Leslie Carmen with us and I think a few more people. A few we'll more see. people. We'll uh, can we squeeze any more in here? I love that. The circus. We're at standing room only. Oh. But stay tuned and we will be right back. That's so funny. <laughs>
Call now for free shipping. Contact Invite Health at 800-463-7575. Call 800-463-7575. You can also visit an Invite Health location or go to invitehealth.com. Invite Health, the luxury brand of vitamins. It takes a whole lot more effort to get something started in your life than it does to keep it moving. Dell Wamsley has moved thousands of radio listeners closer to a great life. The Dell Wamsley Show is now on in South Florida on Talk 1470, Monday at 5, Tuesday through Friday at noon. Listen and move towards your great life today. If you suffer with diabetes, there's a 25% chance that you'll develop a foot ulcer that can lead to severe health consequences, including amputation. At the sole authority, at little or no cost, you can receive your very own therapeutic shoes and custom inserts. Medicare recipients are entitled to one pair of quality diabetic shoes and three custom inserts. Call the sole authority today, 954-597-7060. What you want to know. What you need to know. Talk 1470 WNN. Hey, how you doing? My name is Nick. I'm a Hey Mr. DJ Curtis de Limo. I service all of South Florida. Um, we offer really great services. Um, we offer DJ and limo service. When you book the DJ service through us, you get the Curtis de Limo for the entire day. My office number is 561-507-4376. Mention Yelp or Google, you get 15% additional savings. Um, you can look me up on Yelp or Google on the Hey Mr. DJ. If a tree falls in the woods and no one is around to hear it, does it make a sound? Have you ever felt that your voice goes unheard? And you think that you can make a difference if only someone would just listen. It's time for women in business to have a place to step into your power. A platform to embrace your hopes, dreams, and your visions. A voice to heal and restore. Your voice can make a difference. We have the platform to share your story and let your voice be heard. Be kind to yourself. Give yourself the chance to be heard and shine bright. Contact New Dawn Media by texting CAFE to 80800. That's C-A-F-E to 80800. Cruise Planners, an American Express travel representative, has a tremendous reputation for quality, service, and very competitive pricing for all of your travel needs. As a Cruise Planners travel advisor, Paul Vadiano will help you discover exciting adventures around the world, from cruises to land tours and completely packaged vacations. Paul specializes in all types of travel and will create an unforgettable vacation, wedding, or event just for you. Find Paul at www.cruiseoptics.com, on Facebook, or by phone at 561-232-2626. We make your travel dreams come true. Lunchtime, and the Broken Cafe is open for business. Live from Studio A in the heart of Delray Gallery, Dawn and Freddie S. and their team are ready to serve up a huge portion of fun for lunch with friends and neighbors. So let's break open that lunch pail and unwrap that sandwich you brought and take a front row seat in the Brooklyn Cafe and get ready to enjoy some humor and hot topics. It's time to get a healthy serving of hope and happiness to help your day go by with a smile. Your hosts, Dawn and Freddie S., are ready to talk about food, health, dating, or just plain dream making. If you have a story to share, a movie review, restaurant critique, or just a coincidental thing that happened to you, call in toll free at 888-565-1470 right now. Sit back and enjoy your lunch break at the Brooklyn Cafe. Here are your hosts, Dawn and Freddie S., And we're back. We're well, back. We're well, starting. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Brooklyn Cafe, part two of part one. No, part three. I don't know. Whatever it part is. Part two of part one. Two of two. And you're doing it. Two of two. Two of one of. Two of two. I don't know. Two of two. I got one word for you. Marshmallow. Anyway. 
<laughs> Marshmallow Baby. Marshmallow Baby. Listen, I want to thank all of you for watching part one. If you wanted that makeup look, look at this. She's like a model, boy. I She's tell you. absolutely beautiful. Our first hour, we had Sephora from the Boca Town Center Mall doing a makeover madness. Dane and Stephanie, and we're actually going to set up to do a makeover class. I think we'll do it when the store is not open because, hey, it's, it makes a whole lot more sense, right? And anyone want to join us? Let I'm us in. know. Jen's in. I think Dawn's in. We're going to do a whole class, Brooklyn Cafe TV class. And we're going to bring in. It's like we all go without makeup. We're going to bring okay. 50 guys. You have to take a before and after picture. Okay. We'll send, bring Dylan with us. We're going to take 50 guys to come and judge everybody, all the stuff, to see you. Yes, and yes, and more yes, because we can't be negative. But I mean, actually, what cool. we really need, we need a greeting card company to help oh, brand fact. some of um, Freddie's wonderful <laughs> ideas on greeting cards. When your forehead's big enough to land a plane. I never said that. Yeah, That's all did. false. It's Hashtag, we watched the first it, hour. What, <laughs> <laughs> well, let me ask you, ladies. I mean, you ever seen a woman has tremendous big ears, and then she wears big earrings. Is that like... What you're supposed to do? <laughs> if she embraces her differences. Good. Here's your card, right? Good news, your forehead's fine, but your ear, your ears are tremendous. <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> There's nothing more sexy than big ears. And he leaves us True speechless, that. really? Yeah, big right. earrings too? You ever seen an elephant? Who hates an elephant? Everyone loves elephants. There you go. There's the elephant. That's all in the room. I got. Well, you see, the I'm way fun. you get out of a room, you know what I'm saying? It's the way you exit stage life. But anyway, thank you, thank you, thank you for listening to today's show. 565, no, it's not. 885651470. You want to call in on any of the subject matter that we'll be talking today about. It's going to be a health, health, and a little bit more of health today. Health, health makeovers, beauty from the inside out or outside in. You can contact Sephora. I'm going to head over there and try and get some. Oh, he's taking a selfie. Stephanie, you're gorgeous. Dane, you. fabulous job. Thank Absolutely you. beautiful. Mm -hmm. Freddie asked her if she was Asian and she's Puerto Rican. So Puerto Rican Asian. No, I don't think so. No. Absolutely that's beautiful. This that's not what I said. I said she looked Asian because of the makeup oh, and then they face. softened it up and she went back to being Puerto Rican. You'd be like 15 people. See? You guys did a fantastic job. I can't wait to learn more techniques on everything we need to know. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you to Sephora gotcha. Corporate for helping to arrange this. And to Dane and Stephanie, we met you at the Bridal Expo. So we met you when we were doing that gig with Steve-O. Well done. So more to come. I think our crew enjoyed it. And we keep rolling. Nice lobs, by the way, Freddie. I know. It worked. It worked. We did a show here on Friday with them. We did the Verdict TV. So those little s snippets will be coming out as well. Lots going on. A lot of production. A lot Tomorrow, of stuff. where are we? We're going to go to Flamingo and find, figure out why a flamingo stands on one leg. Balance. What balance? Is more, more balance in two legs than in one leg? Why does a flamingo stand on one leg, by the way? Anyone know? Anybody know if why? If you know the answer to that question, give us a call. 888 565 1470. Say hi to Joe. I think Joe is on the board and we'll get you a bag of coffee. We've got Sabora, we've got Sephora. How funny is that? Sabora, Sephora. Listen, did I tell you that we got rained out football over the weekend? What? I tell you what happened? what happened? Well, we had one of our sponsors, Shred Zone, was there. And we put up the tent. Freddie brought a tent, and there was a cooler, and there were chairs. It looked like a stadium, ready to go. And my goodness, did God get angry. That thunder and the lightning that came down, we were running. It was so in the afternoon? At 1 o'clock. Yeah, that's it. Summer rain. You just can't ever plan anything outside. I would have played, but the lightning refused to go away. <laughs> yeah, not a good idea. Minor no. detail. So we're going to try again next Sunday. <laughs> All right, try that again. Give us a call, 888-565-1470. Last Friday was such a spectacular show on health and wellness. We thought we would continue the conversation today. We've got Daphne. Daphne, and we've got Leslie. I'm looking like no. Daphne's over there. Daphne's over there. Over we've there. got Leslie Carmen from Carmen Care Lace. We've got Dr. Frank in the house. We've got. Oh, Linda there goes Summers. Dr. Frank. I'm really glad Linda's here. Thank you. Because we haven't seen you in a long time. I know. You called in, and you were the topic of conversation on yeah. Friday. Your phone call. I called and from the hospital. <laughs> How are you feeling? Good. It's going to take a while. Do you know that this stuff that's happening to you came from meteorites of aliens? <laughs> I was thinking about that when you said about the weird bacteria. This is like, what well. they're saying. They can't <laughs> figure out why. Yeah, they're nothing. saying it's the heat of the earth heating up is creating all this bacteria that's stuff. That's true. I mean, the non global But that's warming? true. Yeah, well, yeah. Don't get political. <laughs> Don't get political. The oceans are hotter. Yeah. There's more activity in them. Absolutely. Well, you're going to be in a room full of healers. What's uh, happening with you? Well, that... <laughs> I guess it all started with all the you know antibiotics. Basically, I've been on antibiotics for so long, and so that now it ended up with shingles, and then that's attacking the nervous system. 
So the nervous system is just in a lot of pain <laughs> from the spinal cord, my legs, my feet, back to kind of how I felt years ago when I had my spinal wow. cord cut open and it has that nerve pain. Yeah. And they can't figure out how to reverse this stuff. Mm, you just have to treat it. It takes months. It, it, they said it could take up months, weeks to months to hopefully, hopefully get better. You can have permanent damage from that. And so. how's your foot? My foot's actually looking pretty good. It's a little red. And not we talked on bruised. Friday about Today the amount of still antibiotics you have been on. Yeah. And Daphne said, come on in and let's see what she can test you about. Leslie here. I mean, you've got enough people here that if anyone can help, it's this army of healers. It's yes. been tough. Can we get a chair out, guys, for Dr. Frank as well, please? There's one right there. Okay. Leslie, what do you think? I'm sorry. What do you think? Well, what, I was just telling, Linda? yeah, I was just saying, you know, she should come over for a, um, a detox because we actually are treating a patient who has the, um, the who had the shingles. And then you, when you have that pain, it's called post herpetic neuralgia. So it's basically a pain that's still there, mm -hmm. even though the blisters are gone. Mm -hmm. And we do a laser energy detox with it and we use light therapy and, and it increases the healing. So it'll speed up the healing. So mm -hmm. you're welcome, you know, to come to the clinic and try that. Where are you located again? Second Avenue. And you in Boca Raton. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Have you ever done a detox like this? I, years ago, again, I haven't had your type of detox, mm -hmm. but years ago I was on a detox program when I first had my disease diagnosed many years ago. But And it, 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 it helped, I mean, obviously, but it's, just, it's constant for me. It's like one thing after another. But, but the crazy thing is you had this flesh eating bacteria yeah. is probably mm -hmm. from the extraterrestrials that have brought that here. That <laughs> Thank, was you, Jen G. <laughs> Thank you, Jen G. Thank you, Jen G. Thank you, Jen G. But however it got here, it's here. Mm -hmm. And the amount of antibiotics you were on mm -hmm. for your foot that compromised your immune system, that led to the shingles, that led to the pain and right. re-exacerbating everything that you've got going on. I mean, Daphne, there's so much of what you do. we got to get Daphne a mic also. Lisa, can we get Daphne a Let's hand out some mics. Hand out mics yeah. About what's going on. We've had this conversation with Leslie before about the herpes zoster and mm -hmm. shingles, right? We even talked about it with you, Freddie. Yes. And it's funny because we talked about having shingles. I had it, and there was a group of us sitting at the table. We all had it, mm -hmm. and we had similar problems. Yeah. It's funny because how you get what you get comes from, and I make fun about the aliens sometimes, we, we don't look at it, the way it came is maybe the way it has to go out. I mean, what you have, it is so rare, mm. right? But it's not uncommon among it's so that rare. group. No, know. it is. I, don't, I think it's moving up. More and more people are being diagnosed with these insane diseases that we never used to have, especially the trigeminal neurology of the community that I'm strong in and, and speak to. They're saying so many more people are being diagnosed. But is it people disease. talking about it, or is it because it was happening all this time? It was happening. They just never knew what it was. Okay, that's it was never thing. diagnosed, and all these things are now starting to be understood. That you know, the the traditional medicine doesn't unfortunately look at other things and, and we have to look at mold, viruses, mm -hmm. bacteria, all those things, parasites mm -hmm. can, can mimic diseases. And a lot of people that have um, neurological issues, they a lot of them have Lyme and that's completely being like, just not even looked at. Never Let been me checked ask you about, about yeah. Lyme disease. I was just told um, about this girl my age, girl my age, who her life, everything was great in her life. and. Somehow she got Lyme disease. She lost her business, she lost her house, she lost her dog, she lost her relationship. It's her terrible. life has just spiraled downwards. Yep. What What is Lyme disease and why is well, it causing so much distress for people? So Lyme disease can really be caught when you are young and you can, they, they say, oh, it's the bullseye, the typical tick bite. Well, that used to be, but now you can actually get Lyme through mosquito bites and just anything that has any, even sexual, they're saying, you know. So the thing is that Lyme disease is like a spirochete and it can lie dormant in your body like the other viruses. Mm -hmm. And then when you have stress that comes out and then you just get a total flare up. And when they're doing blood tests with the Lyme is sometimes they say the blood test, you know, doesn't show anything, but there's this thing called biofilm that the spirochetes uh, wrap themselves around. It's like they're protecting themselves behind this film and you can't even find it in the blood tests. What are mm. some of the symptoms of Lyme disease? It's like flu, it's just tired, unbelievably tired. You can't even, like you can't even do the dishes or you can't even get up out of bed. And then you feel your joint pain. Some people have itching all over and they don't even realize that it's the Lyme. And they have just, just itching their entire body and just sleeping, just a horrible, horrible feeling. It can manifest in everybody different ways. And what do you do at Carmen Care to help with that? What we do is a lot of laser therapy, a lot of light 
and obviously the, the laser energy detoxing. And then there are some supplements that you can go along with that are non-toxic. So monolorin is very, very good. And there's this other talk, there's, sorry, there's this other supplement that actually releases that biofilm so that the, um, the, the lime can just you know, come out and then you can work on it even better. And you, there are different things you can do. The traditional medicine uses um, antibiotics, which is great when you catch it right at that moment. Like you get it, then you, antibiotics will help, but it's the chronic Lyme disease with the co-infections that are very difficult to treat. I have to tell you, all this makes me so sad. Why? why? Oh, At least I'm thinking the same thing. Because, but why? I mean, there's hope. So don't get me wrong. I'm thrilled that there's hope. But the amount of illness and disease, and again, we have we talked about in the last hour, the shootings that happened this weekend. Mm. There's so much chaos in this world, and it's so not the way mankind was supposed to be, with hate and killings and violence well, that's, and disease. Well, that's the other side of the coin. No, it's really the same side. No, it's not, because think about it. You have choices here. Well, you have, there's hope. Listen, there's a lady, that was all about. There's a lady here, okay, Daphne. When I went to see her, right, I had a choice to live or die. I decided to live for a little longer, and I went to see her, and she did the Bible reading on me, and she read it. Unlike anything I've ever seen in my life. Now, and, and it helped me. It helped me. I'm not saying it's going to help anybody else because everybody's different. But if you buy into the deal, I've been here also for the laser. And this stuff helps me. I, I don't know. sad. I applaud the change because we're talking about it now. We're actually, and we're going to get over to Tadak over here in a second because this is another layer that you have an opportunity to get better where in the past they just gave you 400 pills well that's what we have to do is continue to share the information and give people hope and for anybody who's listening and share everything get the phone numbers out because there is alternative healing you know you had to be treated we talked about this with dr perry on friday mm -hmm. with antibiotics mm -hmm. you had to have that treatment and i was going to otherwise you would to. not be with us no. right or you would have lost, lost your life. foot right yeah. they would have mm -hmm. lost their life so you have to have that traditional treatment, but then it, you had the, the side effects of what happened, and then you go into the holistic side of it and nutrition, right? Being vegan, she, we're going to talk about that. Right, and she should have. I mean, once they had on antibiotics, they brought it down to ground zero. Mm -hmm. So you wipe out all the colonies mm -hmm. of the good bacteria yeah. that's protective yeah, to yeah. the body. So we always, if someone's on long-term antibiotic use, we use Saccharomyces boulardii which is a non-pathogenic yeast that helps recultivate the good bacteria. It also can differentiate when you're on an antibiotic. It lets the antibiotic do the work that it needs to do, but it lets the bad bacteria die off and the good survive. And that's so important yeah, because you right. want to keep your good viable bacteria. Right. You don't want to wipe out the mm -hmm. colonies. And then it's about rebuilding, putting the right kind of bacteria back in the body so that the body can go into a healing. Right. All I've been doing is kefir, 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 because that's what the, you know, so many years of, sur I have 22 surgeries under my way, brain surgery, spinal wow. cord, the whole, everything. You're like a pink so cushion. I, yeah, I have a broken neck and the whole thing. So I've been on antibiotics most of my life, basically, the last 10 years for sure. Whooping cough, rabies, I've been bitten by a rabbit what raccoon. What is kefir? It's just, kefir is just my, it's it a yo drinkable stores. yogurt. That's what and I it's thought. just, I bottle after bottle, I'm just chugging kefir well, all the time. Well, let me ask Dr. Frank about that. Kefir, right? So it, if it's a bottled yogurt, we're talking that it's dairy, right? Yeah. Oh, it's... Yes, it is. It is a milk. It's not a, it's a non-dairy. What do you think about it? You know, look, when you have these fermented things that provide for bacterial populations, you have to understand there's so many gut disruptors, though. And so that's one approach. The bottom line, though, is if you look at GMO foods that have the greatest amount of uh, herbicides, mm -hmm. they're going to be gut disruptors. Antibiotics are gut disruptors. Uh, just stress alone, cortisol will damage bacteria in the gut, which are producing what are called short-chain fatty acids that smooth the lining of the gut. And when that breaks down, or when they're not there, you get bridges in the gaps, you get gaps in that lining that now become leaky gut, and you start absorbing nutrients and fractured proteins that create an autoimmune response. So a lot of immune system breakdowns start in the gut. I now, let me, I, you doc, know what? I've been doctor. diagnosed with a leaky gut, and I never understood what it was. Well, Doc, let me ask you a question. When I was younger, I was in a lot of... Um, antibiotics? Antibiotics, a lot, okay? Mm -hmm. I mean, when I was two, you know the story. And they bombarded me with this stuff, and as I got older, I have leaky gut. I've had mm -hmm. diabetes. My intestines are a mess. I mean, think about, think about this. We have uh, about 10 trillion cells but there's 100 trillion bacteria in the gut. 
So you've got to pose the question, why would we be outnumbered 10 to 1 or 100 trillion to 1? Those things serve a major purpose in the body. And what happens is they play a major role in producing gut health, brain health, heart health. And when you damage that lining, as you did, and you get these leaky changes in the gut, you start getting all kinds of inflammatory outcomes that program immune system breakdown, et cetera, et cetera. So that's why there are so many physicians and people now who realize that even so many of even the psychological disturbances we have, anxiety, depression, are gut-related. There are many psychiatrists now that are treating mental health by balancing gut rather than even treat. 95% of the neurotransmitters in, that are, are involved in emotional and mental health live in the gut. Only 5% of the serotonin that is used to deal with depression is in the brain. 95% is in the gut. So you've got to pose the question, why would we have such an involved environment in our gut? Because it plays a major role in health. Unbelievable. Let's go to commercial break. When we come back, let's talk about some options in treatment. Talk to Jen G. Because you and I have talked about Jen was just about to say something. Oh, I was going to say, I had no idea how it, the role plays with the gut. So I really want to hear the rest. Gut yeah. is your first brain. Stay tuned. 888-565-1470. And we will be right back. I know personally how it works. I know personally. At Carmen Care Advanced Laser Therapy, our professional team specializes in finding the best alternative laser therapy treatments for your painful conditions. Do you suffer with chronic pain, a post-traumatic injury, or simply looking for the benefits of cell rejuvenation to the skin? Schedule a consultation today to understand how photobiomodulation can help reduce your symptoms, reduce or even eliminate pain. Give us a call today, 561 561- 405-9577. We focus on treating you who has a disease, not a disease that defines who you are. Contact Carmen Care Laser Therapy today, 561-405-9577 or CarmenCareLaser.com. Sexy, seductive, and beautiful. Looking for a professional and talented photographer? Danielle Bujan specializes in capturing flirtatious and tasteful images for yourself or your partner. Located in South Florida, Danielle really knows how to bring out your inner beauty on a shoot. Visit her website at www.daniellebuljan.com or call her at 561-305-2241 to capture your most desirable moments. Ferro Law Firm, standing up to corporate bullies, using innovative, aggressive, and effective strategies to resolve disputes effectively and timely. Contact us at 954-252-9818, online at ferrolawfirm.com, and on Facebook at Ferro Law Firm. We look forward to being of service to you. Thank you, thank you, thank you for watching the Brooklyn Cafe, where every day is a new adventure. If you'd like to join Dawn and Freddie S. at the cafe, give them a call at 888-565-1470, toll free. Come on in for a cup of coffee or call to share a thought for the day and get all the information you need to help your business grow. Don't forget, sharing is caring, and to like this video, let's reopen the cafe doors now. Back to Dawn and Freddie S. And we're back. And they're handing me stuff as we come back. And watch, she's going to hand it to me. Yeah, because I can't see. <laughs> and we are back in the Brooklyn Cafe TV on a magical Monday. We had Makeover Monday first. We've got Balance for Life Florida with us. We've got Daphne. And it's no longer yeah. Daphne's vitamin concept. It's Daphne's... Daphne's Vitamins Plus. Daphne's Vitamins Plus, and they are on Southwest 18th Street now in Powerline, right where we were, near Pizza District, on the second floor in the Executive Suites. Yes. Sabora is joining us. I'm still learning about Sabora. I'm so excited to be here. Sabora's like an angel, just, just fell into the gallery on Friday, and you know, it's like a diamond, you just scoop them up and you go, please join us. Oh my God, I'm so excited, especially to hear about natural health, natural healing. We were just discussing off camera. 
just a connection between the mind, body, and spirit. And a lot of people never talk about how your mind is connected to your health. Any disease, any anything that is related to your health, it usually starts with your thoughts. So to have that conversation, I'm honored and excited to be here, and I look forward to more. Which is amazing. Jen, you had a question. Well, I just want to kind of go back to the whole idea about gut health, and it's very interesting to hear about the connection between, like, some issues that you have potentially psychological or anxiety, depression, it all comes down to your gut. And you, to me, and I don't know if other people heard this or they already knew this, it was staggering to know the percentage of serotonin. Mm -hmm. And now, it, or more than ever in this climate, you really have to pay attention with gut health. You know, for a long time, they made a connection between things like uh, irritable bowel, and depression and things of that nature, we've come to find out that there's actually something called the enteric nervous system. It's actually related to the entire digestive system, communicates directly with the central nervous system and the brain. So there's really direct connections neurologically that connect everything going on in the gut through the vehicle of all the bacteria and the organisms that live in the gut naturally mm -hmm. and what goes on everywhere else in the body. That's what I'm having problems with right now. And that's what I, I had 10 years ago when I literally had a spinal cord cut open at three levels to take a tumor out. I, that, so I was, that was already done because of a surgical reason. I lost all the abilities of, you know, down going to the bathroom and stuff, to be personal here. But now with the virus, I'm getting the same problem. And it sucks because I'm telling you, everything does affect that. What are some options then? Because well, how do you know? How do you check? First of all, I'm like, now I'm sitting here, I'm like, I don't know. Well, like, how do I check to make sure that I actually, get my gut healthy? It, it's not about, so you can check that. You can actually do stool tests and look at what's called dysbiosis. For example, you have a normal bacteria, it's called a microbiota, and that's all this, hun this 10, 100 trillion bacteria. When that gets out of balance, it's called dysbiosis. You've heard of probiosis. Mm -hmm. This is dysbiosis. That can be measured by permeability tests with stool samples and things of that nature. So you can look at that, actually. But truthfully, just living and eating in certain ways will fix that. For example, we know that high-fiber plant-based foods, those bacteria need that fiber to ferment. That's how they survive, and that's how they function. So when you're eating a broad plant-based approach, you're taking care of that gut flora. And especially if you're adding some fermented foods, things like fermented, like tempeh, sauerkraut, things like that added a little bit to the diet. All of that helps that balance unbelievably. There are, there are nine diet. Me too. I need someone, truly, this isn't a joke, someone to come in and say, you know what, yeah. eat this, not that. And it's bigger than being vegan mm -hmm. or, right, okay, you cut out chicken and beef. So you cut that, you're going to go plant-based. How do you know? Now you're talking fermented foods, which is different mm -hmm. than a regular salad mm -hmm. with, with different beans. Are you vegan, Linda? No, I'm gluten-free because I have a gluten intolerance. Right. But, but who would have ever known about the fermented side of it? You had those meat. fermented yeah, beets, okay. remember? That yeah. beet juice that had you drinking yeah. for your diabetes? Yes, I did. It was, and, and it's also a balance radiant? of everything. First of all, we're so emotional today. Everybody's on cell phones, they're on computers, and we're creating ma major acidity in the body through the way we think and how we feel and then what we're putting into our bodies. <clears throat> you can actually put, I believe, in a plant-based diet. I do think that some people, it depends on your blood type, are easily geared towards that type of diet. Um, if you're an AB or an AB positive or negative, it's harder to um, be a carnivore. Uh, blood type O are the big carnivores. They're the meat eaters, although everything in moderation. But we are creating a lot of acidity in the body. It's changing the neurochemistry. It's changing the whole gut area. And we really need, most people are running around with not enough of the good bacteria. It's creating major drama emotionally, mentally. And we really have to start there. Dysbiosis is a major problem. There's antibiotic abuse in this country. Mm -hmm. Every time someone has a cold or something's going on, they go to the doctor, they're put on antibiotics. And it's the wrong way to go. What There's, do we do then? How do we, well, Leslie, even how do our we food change is some treated with antibiotics? Well, unless you have a major bacterial infection, why would you want to be on an antibiotic? I mean, even like I work with people with shingles. People that have shingles, first of all, your emotions drive also what happens to you. Your liver stores these cells. There's so much 
today, congestion in the liver because of diet and not breaking down foods. Uh, we work with children and adults now that have um, fatty liver disease, non-alcoholic. It's major, it's rampant, type two diabetes, because we are eating diets that are creating major drama. It's not being addressed in the body. Okay, but hold on, hold on, because there's a lot of information coming at one time. So let's, let's stop the truck here. Let's go from step one and walk, walk it, through because and everybody what here has do, yes right? where's what's have, step one where do we start well i would say step one is really that we as people need to stand up for ourselves and not buy the food that is cheap and loaded with chemicals so you we need have to change to your diet up. we yes you have to okay. change that's the the most important thing we have to stand up for ourselves and not buy the stuff that's out there on the shelves if you don't buy it then they won't make it if you it's like demand right if we demand organic food healthy food not not loaded with all these chemicals that's where it's going to start okay so if we offer the why if we show the reason why a lot of people who eat this junk mm -hmm. will stop eating the junk or at least slow it down so let's start with the food well plant-based the, the bottom line you have to understand that from the food side of the equation the business of food is yes. to add things to food that make it hyper palatable so if you look at food processing, it's loaded with salt, oil, and sugar. Those three things drive what we call a pleasure trap, meaning that it drives your craving and overconsumption of the very foods that are hurting you. That's how those industries stay alive. So one of the things we do when people come to us is that not only do we give them plant-based, take away the animal fat and animal stuff, we also give them a diet that's salt, oil, and sugar-free, plant-based. And it stops all that craving and all that predilection to be, if you will, food addicted. So we're, we, get, we have that addiction that's built in to craving the very things we need to avoid. That's a tough mindset to shift unless you shift it at a very fundamental chemical level. And that's where it has to begin okay, to change. And that's this where program it begins. is called Balance for Life, the Health and Fitness Retreats, and that is at the Wyndham Deerfield Beach. We were fortunate enough to do a show down there. And this is a program you have. You have a day program as well as a, a multi-day program, correct? Yeah, well, what happened is we, we have this incredible program where people fly in from all over the world to come to stay with us. But what we realized is that, look, the community has the same health issues. And we wanted them to be able to take advantage of what we're doing. So we're creating day packages for people in our community, all over Deerfield, Boca, whatever, that they can come in and basically buy days without having to stay at the hotel and incur that, you know, incur that, that well, cost, like but still hotel. take advantage yeah. of our food, our exercise program, our stress management program, all the educational stuff. So that's what we set in motion. And Daphne, you're going to be, in, you're in alignment with all of this as yes, well. Yes, absolutely. So um, we've, we've met, I've met with uh, Dr. Frank together, and it's so beautiful because if you remember a few weeks ago, we were thinking about that retreat that we wanted to right. do. And then um, we had the side covered of the pain with the laser, the detox, and we were looking for um, some solutions for the stay and for the food. And then um, you both introduced us to Dr. Frank and to um, Harold in the Wyndham Hotel. And it's just perfect. Why reinvent what's already there? They're doing such an amazing, outstanding job in covering all that other area, the food and the exercise and, and the, the water fasting that nobody else really does the way they do. And so now we can incorporate that and bring our people in that are suffering with pain. And at the same time, they can use their facility and their knowledge because really what is pain? Pain is inflammation. Where is inflammation coming from? From food and the mental part and that whole thing. So that whole T3 paradigm that we've created, they are fitting that whole sector, sector of it. So we want to try and see how we can work together and get our patients to go there. Linda, you in? <laughs> Financial is an issue for me, <laughs> unfortunately. But you know that, that will be tough for me, financially wise. I don't know what it costs, but the day yeah. pass, I know we actually mm -hmm. have a certificate here. Yes, Harold, that's why you gave it to me. The day is $100 off, we have. Right. So they can call in? They can call in the reservation line and, and uh, just the Harold $100 off deal, the owner. If you want the Harold $100 <laughs> off deal, call The owner deal. The owner deal, call into the reservation line at 800-663-9292. The code is 8053, or say you want the Harold deal. You heard yeah. it on the Brooklyn Cafe TV. And try it for a day, right? You can always increase it, but try it out. Why not? Just see how you feel. And I think, the, and I know, not even think, the food is so important. The nutritional component to what we do to our bodies 
they always say 80 20 I really think it's about 90 10 because you can work out all you want to work out but if you're not nourishing your body to heal then the workout and the weightlifting isn't going to do what it needs to be doing because your gut's not healing. Right, and also the educational part. Dr. Frank does an amazing job at teaching people why. Like you were just mm-hmm. saying, I've never heard about you know the leaky gut. That is so mm-hmm. important. I mean, huge. it's unbelievable. And Dr. Frank will take you through all these things that are important for us to know. Why are we eating this? Why are we sleeping this way? Why are we meditating? What does water fast mean? And then that will br- really bring you on the fast track to healing. You have to understand why are you doing these things and when that becomes clear to you, then you have an easier approach and it's easier for you to actually do it. And I would it, love a nutritionist to come mm-hmm. in and just give me a food plan. You? Me. Come in, we'll do it. I really do. I mean, you look at me because I, do I, it, I eat do, a lot. I do it every day of the week. Come in and we'll do it. Because I don't I eat a lot so because you don't eat food lot. Makes, makes me not feel good. So mm-hmm. I, my diet's become so limited because I don't... Fi- my gut doesn't feel good on eating. You know, that's, a, right. that's an interesting point. If you don't feel good about eating something. See, I love food. Mm-hmm. I love all of it. But good, it doesn't better, upset your stomach. <laughs> We've talked about no, it. No, it, yeah. hold on. It does. Because I can't go back to eating the way I used to anymore. It does upset my stomach. Like but certain foods just make me feel I not good. I grew up in an Italian household in the Bronx. I love to eat. <laughs> so the bot- but the bottom line is you don't, you don't have to sacrifice pleasure eating this way. See, that's what you need to learn. So, oh, no, when you no, come, no, so right. when you come to us, we teach you how to eat in, eat out, not lose any of the pleasure, but now get on a track that's going to improve and, and, and prevent you so know, many major issues. Spend, we should go do a day there, you and I. Bring the kids. You know, get some B-roll. We always go down this road because you <laughs> like it. We sit there and you're eating the green you stuff. You don't have to commit to it, but you could at least learn and it's try not, it. It's, it's about adjustment. Now, I have tried vegan food, and it, it is better. It makes yeah. you feel better. Uh, I went to see Daphne and I got back on the magnesium. Very important tool for me, the diabetic, the magnesium and the mm-hmm. amount of water intake a day. Right. Yeah. There is no bigger state. Feel different. To feel different. Yes. Let me tell you something, honey. Mm-hmm. Yesterday, I was lifting bags of equipment that we're taking to the football field. My son says, you know, this really weighs. How are you carrying it? I was carrying it by myself. From the, Daphne, why the magnesium? Why is that so important? Magnesium is so important. First of all, it's a vasodilator, so it opens up the arterial walls. It helps with your muscles. It helps with um, people. Well, today they're, we're living in a constipated nation because people are <laughs> dehydrated. They don't have enough minerals. You're sweating. You're losing your sodium, magnesium, potassium. So being a diabetic also, you need extra amounts. So it was helping your muscles. It was driving your muscles. I felt fantastic. You felt connected. The electrical energy was there, so you mm-hmm. felt better. And then I ate vegan the night before. I felt like Superman. <laughs> I had vegan up at uh, Juicy. When I went to see her. I felt like Superman. And I'm going to tell you, I'm not a big proponent of liking vegan, but I'm beginning to learn that my life depends on it. It isn't no more about Freddie eat this or eat this, learn to eat this is what I'm telling myself because this is probably going to save your life. We have a woman coming on Wednesday, Deanna Wan, who was on one of our shows. She was diagnosed in stage 4 ovarian cancer, put on hospice, and given four weeks to live. And And that was in 2011. Mm -hmm. Wow. Pretty remarkable. She she changed her diet. She went raw vegan. Raw vegan. And totally changed her life because it wasn't feed. I guess the, what, the animal cells? Acid alkaline balance. That has a lot to do with it. Which is what? People are so acidic because of the diet, so when you remove the meat, meat creates major acidity and you're going more plant-based, it's creating alkalinity. But the program you have teaches yeah, when, you, when, you when you eat, look, if you look at the United States, the problems aren't specifically deficiencies, they are the excesses, because they're eating too much of the wrong things and that will reinforce deficiency, but you've got to deal with excess. And if you look at the excess of animal protein, the excess of saturated and processed fats and oils and refined sugar, they create metabolic acidosis. That's what we're talking about. And when the body becomes acidic, it, twi- it wants to be alkaline or soothing. So the more you impose that acidity, you create ongoing wear and tear and eventually chronic inflammation. And a case can be made that chronic inflammation is the foundation of all the modern day epidemics Agreed. from heart disease, stroke, cancer, diabetes, Agreed. and the like. And stress has to increase acidity. In the cortisol best, does right? it. Cortisol and stress, you think about what it does to your gut, just that fight or flight response that everyone knows about. Just that, when you get that phone call, what, is, what happens? Your heart goes to your stomach when you see a phone call that shouldn't be coming through. 
That has to inc increase acid production. Cortisol is one of those things that causes that leaky gut situation that increases autoimmune inflammation and damage. So chronic stress causes chronic cortisol release that causes that kind of inflammatory damage. Let's go to commercial break. When we come back, we've left Jim quiet and Linda quiet. Yes. <laughs> More to come. Give us a call. What a great conversation. 888-565-1470. Stay tuned and we will be right back. <laughs> Let's all welcome a new sponsor to the show. It's Amp2 TV, the first and only internet production company that's truly plugged in. When you're looking for a full service internet TV radio production company, discover Amp2 TV a full-service production company that can provide all streaming videos in studio or remotely. They offer web page development, and they use all the latest platforms to help make all your business selling points more powerful. They can do remotes or live radio streaming as well as tape productions for social media platforms and television. Amp2 TV can handle all of your television needs, including closed captioning for a perfect on-air telecast. Choose from a variety of creative TV and radio packages or visit one of their many studios to get your creative juices flowing. Come and see why Amp2 TV works with many major companies including Comcast, Bravo, and Fox 29, as well as individuals and businesses of all types and sizes. To see samples of their work or to find out more, visit their website at amp2.tv. That's A M E the number 2.tv or call them at 866-224-5422. Feel free to call for a quote or just a consult of how to put your business on a social media platform or radio platform or just doing a show that is covered by all platforms. Call 866-224-5422 and make an appointment. That's 866-224-5422. Do you want to enhance your love life with flowers? Do you want to enhance your love, love life with life flowers? Help with flowers from Blossom Moments? Weekly deliveries to your home, your business, hospital, or even senior centers. Give us a call at 561-951-6343. Blossom Moments could also coordinate your wedding or event. Contact Blossom Moments at bmgevents.net. For all of your floral event needs, large or small, call Blossom Moments. 561-951-6343. And we look forward to hearing from you. What's with all the excitement? Join us at Game of Axes, Boynton Beach. The game is simple and learning to throw is fun and easy. For more information, search our website, gameofaxes.com, or call us at 561-617-0120. With the help of our talented axe masters, you will be hitting bullseyes in no time. Game of Axes is located at 12550 South Military Trail. Let's get throwing. Thank you, thank you, thank you for watching the Brooklyn Cafe, where every day is a new adventure. If you'd like to join Dawn and Freddie S. at the cafe, give them a call at 888-565-1470, toll free. Come on in for a cup of coffee or call to share a thought for the day and get all the information you need to help your business grow. Don't forget, sharing is caring, and to like this video, let's reopen the cafe doors now. Back to Dawn and Freddie S. And? We're back. <laughs> We're back at the Brooklyn Cafe. Wow, what a show. Everyone's a little quiet. Dylan, again, happy anniversary for being with us for one year. September Hector, 5th. <laughs> September 5th is Teddy's birthday. Hector's been with us well over a year. We've got such a great crew. Hector's been with us over a year? Yep. Really? <laughs> wow. He's been with us over a year. I think he's the long, longest, largest standing bodyguard I have had Don't with call him. Longest, largest. <laughs> right. He is longest standing with us so far at the cafe. He's been with us, I think June was a year. I call him my bodyguard. Do you remember the movie My Bodyguard? Yes. That's I what Hector's that like. I'm like, hey, right? I love that Everybody movie. Hector. He's <laughs> absolutely amazing. And I know he's doing some work with you, Jen. He is. Oh, my gosh. How's that he, going? It's fantastic. He is doing a pictograph that it's been animated for Moby Pop and it is 
What he has done is truly amazing. So that's the first thing we're commissioning from him. He's going to finish that, and we have another job for him. Yeah, I don't no think you can hear yeah. us because his headphones are in, but I really can't wait to see it. I yeah. <laughs> He's just ignoring us. <laughs> we showed you a snippet. Yes, which was incredible. Incredible what he's done. It Where's was the box? Like, Where's my box? <laughs> it's coming. I'm going to do the biggest party for you when it shows up. I need a box. Balloons. It's I need my crazy. Moby Pop box. Not only that, but I, I want something that hangs at the back of my car. And remember when the, in the day when they had those dogs mm-hmm. that used to look? Uh, yeah. <laughs> a bobblehead? A bobblehead? Bobblehead. A Freddy bobblehead. But it wasn't called a bobblehead in the day. Oh, it was shit. a stupid dog that went like this. <laughs> you ever saw those? And you ever had one? Yes. A I want to get... I, like yeah, thank you very much. <laughs> I want to get a... I want to get... Yeah, rolling dog. I want to get a... My, my, my thing in the back window that she talked about, I wanted to move the head. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, think about it. When you're driving, you see this thing moving, you're going to look at it. But people are asking for Moby Pop. They yes, said, people are. Zone, they were on Friday, and they said, how do I get Moby Pop? I saw them yesterday. Yeah. So I sent them your contact information. Perfect. But how do people get Moby Pop? Uh, well, right now, if you go to uh, your text function, and the number is 80800, text in your message win, W-I-N. That's one way. The second way is you can just go on mobypop.co. And that's our website. We already started taking orders. People are in the system. I am always tremendously excited when people are responsive. And all weekend we've been doing orders. So it's been uh, incredible. What's yeah. so great is when you come on the cafe and we ask you how do people reach you, instead of going to Instagram, it's X. And Facebook is Y, yeah. and my phone number is A, and but you can find me on email at B. All you have to do is you text your Moby Pop information. It's one platform. It's one platform. Mm-hmm. Ours is Cafe, and everything is there. You mm-hmm. just type it in once, and everything pops up on your phone. You can save it as a contact, and then you can always know how to reach anyone you're looking for. You don't have to worry about all of these other things. And you, you and it becomes part of um, what Hector calls your digital Rolodex, which yes. I think is perfect. So we originally started this when I said to you, if you need anything from anybody, call me because I have hundreds of people in my digital Rolodex that I can just email a card to you and you can get them right through the card. And then with Mobipop now having digital uh, movable billboards. We, you know, just do a whole marketing system that includes once people get your card, a text messaging campaign to keep people engaged with you. It, it's been amazing. So I like, that. I like that, and and, and I want to also tell our Latino fan base, our brothers and sisters, we are coming out with a magazine in Spanish. Manuel is working on What's it. What's it going to be called? Fuego, fuego, yeah. fuego, fire. Yeah. It's going to be fuego. We're going to do the Latino style. That the cafe Why is, it is going. Fuego? All right, you got to ask him. What does it have to do with the cafe? You, you get a, because we're on fire, baby. It could be cafe. <laughs> yeah. 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 First of all, we did food. this in your honor because what? we what? know when you cook, things explode. <laughs> <That's laughs> Call 911. Raw vegan might be a good choice for me. Yes, roll, the roller the better. Just roll it from the fields and eat it with you. But That's Fuego's right. coming out, and we're going to take all the English stuff and put it in Spanish. We're going to have, how do you say Moby Pop in Spanish? El Moby Papo. <laughs> El Moby Papo, boy. I'm going to tell you, you put an O on everything, it turns Spanish. There you have it. Pretty sure I nailed it right there. You got it. <laughs> we're coming with that. And tomorrow we're going to be launching Mascara Mafia as part of our 2020 vision. Wow. And it's really an exciting platform for our teens and millennials about accepting who you are. And the reason it's called Mascara Mafia is because the mascara wand comes in many shapes, many sizes, many forms. And it does many different things. But it's all... A mascara wand. We are all people. We all come in many shapes, many sizes, different forms, and different cultures. So it is called Mascara Mafia, and it's about integrating that everyone is accepted, and that is launching tomorrow on our 2020 vision. And if you're a guy and you don't understand anything, what the hell she's talking about, what's the address to... um 4100. Teddy just put it on the... We're going to be at Flamingo House tomorrow. Teddy's going to get us the address. What's the address? But okay. me and Napola, a 16-year-old Dynamo, she'll be 16 next month, is launching Mascara Mafia. But to think about the foresight of a mascara wand to bring inclusiveness. I can't put my hands crazy. around I mean, that. I'm sorry. You don't know what a mascara wand That's like me is. using this like a giant Q-tip. I just, <laughs> I, can't, I can't do it. <laughs> I mean, I, 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 just, I, just, I mean, Doc, you know what I'm it's saying? I mean, mascara mafia. To me, the word mafia is one thing, mascara is another. Why don't you come on down if you're a millennial and they're going to be talking about some subject matter in his yard. 4160 Northwest First Avenue in Boca Raton. We're going to be at the Flamingo House, which is an East Boca co-oping, co-oping, co-working space. Co-oping? Co-op, co-work. 
Now, I have another maybe. I got another maybe. I'm going to be in negotiations with him tomorrow because, you know, Gen G has a show on Thursday night along with some other productions you do. And I would like to be able to take that production out of the radio station and start putting it in different places. And cool. this is going to be ground zero. We're going to see if we can negotiate something there as well. Take a look at that. And we have some other friends that maybe we can negotiate that as well. I want to sort of take it out of studio and bring it because I, I really like the concept that we do. But we got to get to the, the, the crowds. We got to get to the people. We did the Wyndham. It's fantastic. We got to bring them in. So come on down. Get it educated. Don't be afraid. Ain't nobody going to bite you. No. Some of Teddy. us. <laughs> <laughs> Freddy, Teddy, there's only That's so many rhyming exactly. things here. No, Freddy might go. Teddy's like, I'm not going to bite It's all good. It's all good. <laughs> Sabora, what do you think of this whole conversation? I'm so excited again. I'm thankful to be here. We were just talking off air again about frequency and just raising your vibration to raise your health. And a lot of people never have the conversation about, you know, your mental health, your, your spiritual health. you got to be talking to Daphne. Well. You gotta be talking to Daphne. I love Daphne. That's what, what Daphne? she does. Have you ever heard of the Bimeridium? By Bimeridium, absolutely. Have you heard of it, Bimeridium? I'm learning. That's what you love about Sephora. You gotta be absolutely. talking to Daphne. Yes, who's Daphne? <laughs> she's the lady she's next to you. We just sat and we talked just about met. colloidal yeah. silver, and she's been using oh. it most of her life. My grandmother used it most of her life and never got sick. You know, and it's one of those things that when you say share knowledge and teach people based on just different culture and different information, it really can make a difference between being in a lot of pain and just being in a very healthy state of mind. Well, but this is something with that colloidal silver, it's where, yeah. but where people ingested too much and they actually glowed? Someone created their own. They, they made it in their home and uh, they made it to such a potency that he actually turned blue from yes. what I understand, but you shouldn't be he making your a own. Smurf. Right, he did. He became, he became a, smurf. a smurf. That's what they call it. That's yeah. true, but you should not be making it in your home. There are companies that are f fabulous. We use them every day. It's an antifungal, antibacterial, skin irritations, rashes. It's wonderful. People, instead of jumping on an antibiotic sometimes for minor things, this is a great way to impact your body in a natural way using this. It can go after fungus, bacteria, and viruses. Now, I love the fact that when I met Harold and he introduced me to Doc and you guys have a, a specific program and I spoke to people actually after the show people have called me to tell me about what you guys are doing and how it's changed their life and you had a gentleman I think he was 92 on the set Remember yeah that? he was remarkable this Jack. Guy looked, Jack he looked like he was 24 I mean it was unbelievable this guy <laughs> I mean he looked really no, he looked really, um, hey, he did a one-hand push-up in the lobby for me. <laughs> yeah, I said, are you kidding me? And I buried my father at 88, and I saw this guy, and I just look at the alternative. You know, do we like to eat bad? Hell yeah. And whoever tells you no is lying to you. Everybody likes the sugar, the salt, and the oil. They like it. But when it comes down to doing things, I applaud what you guys are doing. I want to put the word out more to get, at least get educated. I've been asking people to do the Biomeridian. You know our story with this stuff, mm -hmm. with the lasers and everything else. I mean, I've, I've done laser with you in places I'm never going to see. <laughs> <laughs> Just saying. And I'm going to tell you, I'd rather have a choice to live than no choice to die. Well, that's what this whole segment is about, show is about. It's about choices mm -hmm. and educating yourself. And we never say don't see your doctor. Like we said, Linda had to go on those antibiotics to save her life. But now mm -hmm. you have to heal. Mm -hmm. And right. all of these options, there's nothing that will heal you from antibiotics that a doctor can give you. Right. There's no pharmaceutical that will get you back from the antibiotics or how they depleted your system. Mm -hmm. But here's some choices for you. We're, mm -hmm. It's just being having the knowledge. Leslie, how can people find you? They can find us at CarmenCareLaser.com or call us, 561-405-9577. And you're located where? We are on 2nd Avenue and Boca Raton Boulevard. You can't miss us. And you've got a lot going on because you also yep. have... It's got a new name. Where yes, well, you know, body. believe it or not, we're thinking about changing it again. <laughs> <laughs> It'll always stay the Carmen Care, but probably Health and Wellness Center, just because we are broadening out so much that it used to be just laser, but now it's so much more. It's the detoxing. It's the mind-body connection. It's just becoming so much more that we figured, well, you know, Health and Wellness Center is a pretty good broad name for it all. Come to the light. You know, Come to the light, right. right. <laughs> Come to the light. And who's next? Daphne. Daphne. Where can they find you? At, um, we are now at the uh, Southwest 18th Street. We are at Boardwalk Plaza. 
We are in the Executive Suite Building 201, Suite 213. My phone number is 561-392-8448. And it's all about integration. Everybody here has wonderful modalities, and it's about integrating all of it, not alternative. It shouldn't be alternative. We're bringing both together, and everybody has a different perspective, a different view, and the possibilities are endless to getting people well. There's right. always an answer. And when you come out of the elevator, make a left. Go around yes. the bench. It's right there. And Dr. Frank? Yeah, we're at the uh, Balance for Life retreat at the Wyndham Hotel in Deerfield. Balanceforlifeflorida.com, 1-800-663-9292. And I just want to say that this approach is about giving people hope. That's right. There's a lot of hopelessness out there because people feel that they've done certain things, they've, they've gotten to a certain place, and there's no turning back. And I'm here to tell you that by making these kinds of choices and lifestyle choices, not only can you prevent major issues, you can reverse the most serious damage that's been done. And that's great and to hear. And I want people to have that yes. hope. And Wednesday, the hear. conversation continues because we have Deanna Wan joining us, and she's going to be talking about all of that hope that she was given no more choices. She was put on hospice. And it's some of these life changes that she made that she's still here with us many, many years later. So more to come with that conversation. And there's nothing scarier than when the doctors tell you, you know, your, your ticket is up, get your things in order, you ain't leaving. There is nothing more scarier than that. So if you can hold on to change, you know what? Open this up a little bit. That's right. Things will change in your life, I guarantee you. We'll talk about that tomorrow. Also, we're live at the Flamingo House in East Boca. So come on out. A great co-working space with Amber Tollefson, one of our first friends from the cafe. And a family member of mine. Is it? Yes. yes. Oh, she's amazing. Yes, I love her. Really? Yeah. How is she related to you? Well, my niece, Kim, married her brother. Kim, we'll say hi. Yeah, I will. Hi, hi Amber. I'll be here. <laughs> Thank you all so much for the great show. Have a great day. Be kind to each other. We will see you tomorrow, same time at the Flamingo House. And don't be late. Bye bye. Are you ready for the challenge? Do you know what's coming? Are you ready to become a healthier you in 12 weeks? Welcome to Shred Zone. Shred Zone Fitness offers a personalized training program that you can do. With 30 minutes of time and online daily support, motivation, and a customized, easy, and flexible program designed with you in mind. Contact us at ShredZoneOnline.com and ShredZone Fitness Studio, 561-331-2059. ShredZone Online gives you 24-7 access to your personal trainer, personalized nutrition suggestions, strength training, and weekly accountability. Contact Shred Zone today at 561 331 2059. Let Shred Zone shred you to a better health. ShredZoneOnline.com or 561 331 2059. The Heart of Delray Gallery, located in the Delray Art Complex, is one of South Florida's top venues for art, culture, music, and private events. The Heart of Delray Gallery is a cutting-edge, 11,000-square-foot art exhibition showcasing local artists and artisans with the highest quality of talent and vision, highlighting South Florida's creative arts. Visit us at the Heart of Delray Gallery, 1440 North Federal Highway in Delray Beach. Come, take a tour, book your next private event or fundraiser, or join us for Art Walk the the first Friday of every month from 6 to 11 p.m. For more information, give us a call at 561-278-0074. Well, that's about it for today. Even though the show is over, the Brooklyn Cafe is always open for business. You're invited to join the fun every day. If you miss some of the last from today, Dawn and Freddie S. will bring you more goodwill next time. You can follow the cafe on Facebook at the Brooklyn Cafe TV to rewatch every minute of the show. 